We are all familiar with the minimalist philosophy that less is more, but does it always hold true? Global climate change has created a new set of circumstances under which farmers are forced to increase food production in the face of a declining natural resource base in order to meet the needs of a growing population. The concentration of our population in urban centres has led to increased competition for scarce land and water resources that are vital to the integrity of food production and an overall quality of life. Inadequate sanitation infrastructure often sees urban water courses used for the disposal of human wastes, which highlights water scarcity as an issue of quality as well as quantity. Largely a problem of distribution, water scarcity epitomizes the most critical manifestation of poverty. That is, without water, it is impossible to produce food. Just as these problems are complex and multidimensional, so too should be their solutions. That's why the central framework that guides my research focuses on connecting the water cycle and the carbon cycle to deliver symbiotic benefits in order to generate food producing, carbon storing biomass. My main vehicle is agroforestry, which is simply the integration of crops and trees within the same land use parcel. Using treated wastewater to irrigate agroforestry systems that are situated on the periphery of the urban centre, hence the term peri-urban agroforestry, these systems will generate a host of ecosystem services, most important of which is carbon storage. But how do I know this? I wish I could actually grow the forest, but instead I have to use a model. So the computer model that I use to measure carbon stocks asks me, what kind of crops and trees I want to plant, how I want to arrange them, and how much water, light, and nutrient is available. The model then simulates the growth of an agroforestry system using a complex network of mathematical equations that represent ecological processes, and it tells me exactly how much carbon is held within the system's biomass. As I add nutrients by irrigating with treated wastewater, my system grows bigger and faster this is important because to date, carbon sequestration is the only ecosystem service that is recognized with payment. So farmers adopting this type of planting will benefit ecologically and financially. What's more, if we view treated wastewater as a resource rather than as a byproduct, we give value to the treatment process, incentivizing the creation of sanitation services where there currently are none. This will hold positive implications for the health of urban dwellers, provide farmers with resource incentives. These things together show that by recycling water to sequester carbon, we can do more with less.